so this is my canvas which is a 6 by 6 inch canvas and for that I am taking a same size of paper sheet and added it with the help of a masking tape. Now we will start drawing. For that first I am taking a 0.5 cm of border and with the help of a transparent scale and a pencil I will just make the border on the foreside. This design will be already provided for you so you don't need to draw it once again but if you want and add your input you can definitely go on and design your own Jaipur art drawing. So our four side border is now done. It looks like a little bit uneven because there is some part of the paper which is hidden by the masking tape. Now I will make a center circle. For that I am just finding the center. I will measure the whole width and then find the center to find a central point so that we can add the circle. The measurements are very important for Jaipur painting because the intricate measurements plays an important role for making the whole painting more immersive and more true to nature. You can of course use any other round shape material but here for this painting I am deliberately using a compass for more precise result. In our central circle I am giving a 1 cm thick border. After that we will do the outer border. Now with the help of a pencil and a scale I am adding a 2 cm of thick border around the circle. Our border is done. Now I am just removing the excess amount of pencil line with the help of a eraser. Now it is time to divide the center circle with 8 equal portions. We will design and fill the 8 equal parts in the later portion. After that is done we will outline the second border with a more thicker 2 cm border. These steps are looking very precise but believe me it is not that difficult that it is looking. So the border is done as you can see I have done some mistake. Using a Tombow mono eraser which has a very sharp tip I am just removing the excess line from the border. As the border looks perfectly symmetric now we can fill the border with our floral design. For that I am adding a rough circle around each corner for measurement and to find where my flowers would look like. After I am satisfied I will start adding the design. We will add 6 to 7 circles at the outside and center another circle. The size of the circle is completely dependent on the size of the stone or mina you have. If you have a larger stone or mina just put the mina in the design and that will give for you a rough idea how big and how many circles you have to accumulate in the design. After the corner flowers are done, now we will move to the central flowers where we will give the flower with a pointy petal shape. This flower will be done using our cone work 
and there will be a mina in the center of the flower. After the flower is done, now we will move forward for the petals and the leaf section. As you already noticed, at the top of each branch there will be a bud and after that there will be a set of 4 set of leaves. The leaves has a slight curvature to it, so I will highly suggest to practice it in another sheet of paper and then do the final work, even if you are drawing directly on the canvas. In the gap of a circle and the box, I will add now one flower and add two set of leaves. The flowers look exactly similar that we already draw in the previous border. Again to repeat the same thing, this design will be perfectly given in a PDF format for you so that you can easily print it out and transfer it to the canvas by tracing method. Don't forget to watch the tracing video for this. I hope you clearly remember that I have said to separate the center circle with 8 portions. Now we will design the center part with several floral leaf design. These designs are very delicate. I am first making a petal like structure and then I will fill it with several floral motifs. This kind of central flower design which has a high amount of symmetric elements are very popular for Jaipur painting. Jaipur art is very delicate and symmetry is one of the most important thing for Jaipur painting. Right after the double lining is done, we will fill the whole petal with floral and leaf design. It is still looking amazing. We will do these three petals with our hand. I will make the whole circle with cross processing in the Photoshop. After the three petals is done, now it's time for prose processing. So let's jump into my computer skin to see how the prose processing will look like.
with that border the design is almost done as you can see the print is looking so amazing and it looks like a perfect kind of Jaipur painting. This design you can easily download from the project section which has a password that will show in another video. First of all we will start with cone work. Along with that we will learn how to put stones on that. After stone work we will start coloring and finally with some additional detailings we will complete our Jaipur art. After completion you can't imagine that this is done by you. This art piece is definitely going to elevate the soothingness of your home and also bring back the positivity. To get this free course in free format you just need to go to the link in the description box. After you open the link you can see there is written free and also a coupon is applied. You can preview some of the sample videos and then you can add to cart. After clicking add to cart you can see there is option for your name, gmail and also a password. So you need to sign up with that. After the sign up this billing address page will come up. This shows that the course is free. You just need to put your address and also your pin code and after that click on enroll now button. After that it's very easy you can start the course from there. You just click start the course and you can see plethora of videos on that topic. After watching the entire course you need to click the 5 star rating. Also you can just complete the last course and you will get this 5 star rating. Give a good rating and also give an honest opinion so that more other artists like you can find my course. There is also PDF guides for each and every art form so don't forget to download it from the resources page. So you must please hurry up because the seats are very limited. If you want to enroll in my other courses you can search in Udemy and write my name and you can find all other courses offered by me. To know more such amazing Indian folk art don't forget to subscribe to Anabaration Indian folk art channel. Thank you.